Well, hiya guys, how are you all doing? If you do like the videos, do take time to hit that like button, share them on your social media pages, and if you're not subscribed, smash that bell icon. Now, what are we doing today? Well, I'll give you two little clues there, or should I say, nearly two. Fishing, obviously. I've got the um, Darrant Valley rod, got a light link leisure set up, I've got a nice 20 inch landing net and quorum opportunist landing net pole. I'll tell you what we're going to be doing today, take a look at that. We're going to be having a rove on this particular little brook. It's wider in some places than others. I don't know how it's going to feed this time. In the past it's been very kind to me, but I did start noticing there was otter damage on fish and noticing it weren't fishing quite as well as it should have. Now whether that's just purely down to otters or down to effluent going into the river, I can't be certain. Could be a bit of both. Anyway, bait wise, bread, lobworms, maggots, cheese paste, no more waffle, more fishing. Let's crack on guys. quiet so far but I'm going to expect that you're fishing for pockets of fish there's a few areas along here that are holding zones on this particular waterway but in between that you really are searching out a fish here or a couple of fish there in any likely looking feature filled area Generally, on such a small waterway, if you don't get a bite within, or any signs within 10 minutes, it's usually best to get your mosey, mosey shoes on and move on.
no! Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that, that hook's only just in there, guys. Barely in the lip. Nice looking Chevin, happy with that. I tell you what, it's been a real, real scrape around day. Well, not quite for three pound, 12 ounces. But very, very welcome what's been a hard trip so far. So far. But yeah, as you can see, right there, look, just here, goes all the way around. That's a typical otter grab. Yeah, it's such a pity. And I tell you what, it's, the otter activity has affected this section of this little river. It really has. It used to get lots of fish in a variety of spots. Now, and I never used to catch any that had signs of predation mark. I mean, even on its back, look, you can see it's been grabbed. I mean, it's lucky it survived, to be honest. Very fortunate Chevy. Very delicate bite as well. Only just lip hooked lightly, and the hook fell out in the net as I was resting the fish. But yeah, very happy to have caught this. Very nice. And what has been a real trip where you've had to scratch about and then when you have found the fish, you can see they got otter damage and they were biting very cautiously. Missed a bite just before this fish as well. But yeah, let's get it slipped back.
Oh, credit that. I tried those other cu couple of swims, now three swims, rested this swim and come back. There's a nice take on Logwood. It's a nice job this. Beautiful. <laughs> Always pays if you're in a good spot and it goes off and they've got a bit wary. Oh crikey, that is a lump. Guys, that is a lump. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, as I was saying, getting a bit sidetracked there with the adrenaline. But if a swim goes quiet, it can help to just rest it. Go and try some other spots. You're travelling light anyway. Go and try some other spots and then come back. Can pay dividends. And on most rivers, the chub can be quite apprehensive. But that difference between the light fading can just bring out the bigger fish. I'll tell you what, it's a clonker. This is a really good fish. Well guys, this is an absolute lump for this kind of river. <laughs> Take a look at this. What a corker. Five pounds, three ounces. Got a build of a much bigger fish, but what a fish. Five pound three from the small waterway. Just as a friend said to me, um, oh, you always tend to get a few better chub feeding this time in the evening. And I said to him, messaged him, I went famous last words, eh? Just draw myself back. What a clonker. Absolute beauty. Lovely condition, this one. Look at that head on it. Look at those lovely brassy tones. A fine, fine fish on what's been a tricky and tough trip. You keep patient, keep trying different things, rotating spots, resting swims, and well, when it comes good, it duff um, duff. Half come good when it comes good. <laughs> Till it slip back. One last look as we let her go. More than ready to go as well. Off you go. Where are you going? He's a nudge in the right direction. Off you go. There you go. <laughs> Back to the depths. I don't know what depths there are. Very shallow waterway. Well, I'm all packed up. Just got to stick my waterproof jacket on and just um, pack away my bits and pieces of ground bait and uh, bait. But yeah, pay dividends to rest the swim. But on a waterway, that can be quite wary. I guarantee now on the other spots which I was fishing I guarantee you'd pick up an extra fish or two can be quite spooky they can be apprehensive it's not the deepest little river in the world it's certainly a very shallow one but just goes to show sometimes when you know it's a tough trip use every trick in the book you know bait swims up in advance so basically if you've got four or five swims that you can see along the stretch bait those up then slowly make your way through them so that they're already prepped which is what I did today to no avail on those swims but it worked in this one but you've got to curry as much of the odds in your favor and you know doing stuff like that rotating spots or like I did with this swim having a fish out of it then leaving it trying a few others then coming back to it where it's rested a bit the fish are a little bit apprehensive you know they've seen one of their mates get taken out the spot and they're thinking oh I'm not going to feed give it a little rest come back to it bonus fish five pound three ounces from a tiny waterway it's an absolute you know brilliant result on what has been a tough and tricky trip but you know I wouldn't change it for the well I could have been out barbel fishing this evening it's um, lovely and mild but you know I, I love my small waterways I really do they are capillaries little bits of water bloodlines that feed in and go on to feeding into the more well-known or larger waterways and you know these these little rivers these should I say brook even they deserve some thought and care and love. And I'm sure a lot of you guys who do watch my videos share the same ethos, same, same vibe and feeling. And you guys, you know, love your small waterways and your tiny little rivers and brooks where you can catch some magnificent fish. 
and you know for me that's part of the adrenaline rush yeah it can be at times a wild goose chase you can be hunting about for pockets of fish predation's an issue even more so on even smaller rivers like this and so is pollution but you know it's it when it when you get when it comes to fruition and you get results like that it makes it all more sweeter in my opinion anyway guys i've got to be heading off i hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the flip side on another fishing for memories video log take care